Hey, everybody. Okay, I wanted to do a quick comment. It's ATC time about those comments. And the video I did yesterday, as you can see, the teen worker at McDonald's is grabbed, dragged, and stumped by a man with a criminal history. And here's the young, young teen, 15 years old, just horrifying. And here's what I wanted to say. Um, this is a problem when I'm saying in the spirit of love, this, this is a problem with black women. The problem with black women is this. Since we are led by a matriarch, not a patriarch, but a matriarch, because the women are pretty much, it's left on you. You get pregnant, good. Not we have a baby, you have a baby, and the baby sometimes, in most cases, is you and your family. So here's the problem. When you are led by a matriarch, everything is expected and put up on the woman. That That's who has to do everything. Yeah, I did a video months ago, and it was about the lady, I believe it was upstate New York, there was a fight. Domestic fight. A couple. She heard it down the hall. It wasn't the first time. She heard it down the hall and she went taking her little feet on down there. She gonna intervene. Really now? Yeah, she intervened and got got. Why? The man pulled out a bullet and she ended up getting shot. And I thought to myself, it's a domestic violence case. A boyfriend and girlfriend is nothing new. Apparently in the neighborhood, in that building, who the heck told you to go down there? That's the black woman's problem. Because to live by matriarch, you feel you got this. Oh, I'm going to handle this. I'm going to handle this. No, you don't got this. That's the black woman's problem. Uh, we'll, we'll hear something like, oh, that's the last thing we need is another black man in jail. Well, sometimes, hell, they put themselves there. That's the black woman's problem. You got that cape on. You gonna ha- Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to solve it. We don't need the police. Honey, you are not bulletproof. That's the black woman's problem. I always gotta see, I always gotta be the problem solver because that's the role that she's subscribed to in the community. Oh, she'll figure it out. She'll handle it. This here, here's a comment. Sir Pony said, Sir Pony said, and men are upset the women choose the bear in the woods rather than the man. Child with the bear, you might have a chance. With these men, look forward to catch feet, hands, anything. So farmhouse on the mountain says, I want to laugh, but you're absolutely right. Candyland says, grizzle, grizzle. I'm I'm very serious. I, I, listen, I get it. Now, China Arlene said, this is disgusting. And where's McDonald's at at with the funds to help this girl? My opinion, uh, they don't care about the workers. You can be replaced. WK says, crazy. The manager failed that girl. An adult should have locked them out, refused service, and called the police. Boom and boom. Again, that's why I said that's a problem with uh, with black women. Scrooge and McDuck Rich says he wouldn't do that to a man, though. Exactly, like I said in the video. Pick on somebody your own size. No, you're a failure. You're a weakling. You're inferior. So you want to pick on a teen woman, drag her by her hair, by her braids. Oh, my gosh. Stomp the girl. Um... Let's see, Farmhouse on the Mountain says, yes, I've seen a video of a manager running to lock the doors after people got crazy in the drive through They tried to break the windows but couldn't. Yes, and again, this right here would not have happened if all they would have done is call the police. Call the police. That, that's it. I haven't heard McDonald's come out and make a statement. What's the employee's training? They should have just called the locked the doors and called the police, and that's that, and this would have happened. But being young, she probably, oh, I want to go ahead and get their order, and then they'll they'll go ahead. What are we teaching our daughters? Just because you may have a father in the home or uncles and cousins, I have that too, and I uh, grew up with a father in the home too. I didn't come up from a fatherless home. Guess what? You cannot look at your situation and try to attribute that to the collective because that's not what's happening. That's a black woman's problem. She's always out front to handle things, or I'll, I'll get this taken care of. That's a black woman's problem. We need to teach our daughters to rest in their femininity. What are we teaching them? Teach our daughters to know the enemy. When you see somebody acting a fool, I don't care if they look like you and say they have the same hue. Back up. 
put down that cape. I wouldn't have gave a darn about that order. Nine one one, lock the door and wait. That is what we should be teaching our daughters. But already I can see. I said that's the problem right then and there. Don't want to call the police. Oh no, we don't want to get them arrested. Why not? Protect the black man at all costs, even if it's the dust bucket. To your detriment. And look what happened. Matthew Crone said this should have been national news. It happens every day. And when same things happen, a lot of times to uh, people in the black community, it's not deemed, I think, in my opinion, as most noteworthy. You'll see Becky missing. You we know it's like oh my god yes we know Becky was missing green shorts pink top uh white converse on we already saw the report seven times today. Then, and they talked about it for thirty minutes. Then oh by the way a black female was missing and she was wearing a ponytail and had on some clothes. Now back to Becky. But there's people acting up in in in, uh, in fast foods happens every day. <laughs> C. Chi said McDonald's is low vibrational food and needs security on site full time. Oh, exactly. But see, that may affect the bottom line. You know what I mean? I think companies are all about profit. Sorry. They're about people when it comes to making a profit. That's how I feel about it. Forever Lux Design says, Thank you for covering the story. It's shameful how quiet everyone is about this. Of course. The some of the same when I was marching for bail reform and defund the police. When they start how and defund the police, I knew, yeah, not a good idea. I already knew that was not a good idea. Defund who? Oh, I knew that wasn't going to work. Why? There's too many fools around. Too many fools. I knew that wasn't going to work. The same ones that were being mainly abused by the police. Guess what? You got good. I knew that wasn't going to work. They're trying to send a message all with that George Floyd issue. And the same ones that it's designed to protect. These are the same fools that mess it up to show, oh, hey, guess why? You want to defund the po uh, police for putting their foot on somebody's neck and unaliving them. You want to defund the police. Uh, guess what? You can't. Why? Because you got this book. It's going to hit the streets. They says, oh, this is my opportunity. I'm going to go and do some more crime. So stupid. They wanted to holler and defund the police because a white man was unalive by the police. They wanted to holler and defund the police because of that. They wanted to and defund the police because uh, George Floyd had that uh, on his man had his a knee on his neck, and that you know allegedly healed him. Some said didn't doesn't, doesn't matter. All we know he was breathing prior, and the same ones that. They're saying the reason to defund the police, the same fools and the reason why you can't make it make sense. Crime just go crazy. Too stupid to live. Yes, Lulu Lawson, I agree. The men will excuse his behavior. Some will, yes, Dusty's, and blame a young kid. Oh, and, and the man's will support it. Exactly. Oh, she people said she shouldn't have gone outside. I agree, but that doesn't excuse his behavior. She shouldn't have gone outside because you know why? Again, what are we teaching our daughters? Oh, that, that's that's the black woman's thing. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to handle it. And, so, and then I read some other reports, so I'm like, well, I don't know if they got her, like, at the door when she was saying, hey, if you want to get your order taken, come inside. But, yeah, they should have just locked the door. Why would you let a beast in? But we don't want to get the police involved because, hey, it might be another black man in jail. To hell with that. There were, like, two women. Two or three women that attended uh, when they were doing the Black Lives Matter march. And guess what? Two or three of them end up dead. And guess by who? Black men. Yeah, I think it was three. Mm -hmm. Two black women and one Caucasian female. Who did it? Do white men do things? Hell yeah, all races do. Me hold a whole nine yards. Mr. Wong got get caught doing wrong too. In this community, what are we teaching our daughters? 
want to protect them at all costs, that can cause you a great loss. They should have just locked that door and called 911 and that wouldn't, this wouldn't have happened. This wouldn't have happened. When you're dealing with low vibrational inferior men, they are powerless. They control and own nothing. They will take their anger out on women every time. They will take their anger out on women every time. TKO and Two Life says, these ninjas are unhinged. I hope she sues him in civil court too. I hope she gets justice. Girl, what's she going to get? Two dollars? Your papa has no assets. What's he going to get? Low vibrational. Yes. Claudette Doyle said, she is 15 and working. This thing cannot work. Well, it probably can't work because of the background. And that's another thing. <laughs> Love them as Jolly said the same thing. Man, exactly. That's another thing. She's 15 and working. And if you read the report, what does she say? Looking forward to getting back to work. Typical of a black woman. Can't ta- a teen can't take a break. But what is she thinking? Getting back to work. That sounds like a black woman. Why? Other folks depending on you. You got to depend on you. No safety net. You're the safety net. Then others depending on you too. I wonder if she needed that chance to maybe help at home. A fractured skull. Dragged like an animal by a savage in human form. Laid up in the hospital. And she concerned about getting back to work. I'm not surprised. Why? She's 15, young black woman. I haven't heard a father come forward. I heard about the mother in the in the New York uh, Post report. I haven't heard about the dad. She concerned about what? Getting back to work. Yeah, I wonder why. True black woman form. There's no backup. Can't rest your femininity. You just got to go ahead. Get to getting, running, 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 working, 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 running. Bills to be paid. And out of all that, sometimes still can enjoy your own darn check. Too many mouths on it. That's why I'm posting these videos about these people, ladies with no kids. Women need to know you have options. Need to know you got options, baby. This right here. What are we teaching our daughters? The same thing I thought about with that woman that sat up there, heard them down the hall in a DV issue. She going to go down there and handle it. So I guess, let me guess, we don't want nobody to call the police and get him arrested. Like, hell, 911, yes. There was a fool down the hall in apartment 3B. Can you please get here? We're hearing screaming. They're known for this. No, she didn't call 911. She going to go down to that apartment. Oh, she going to put a stop to it. I know them. And, you know, the woman dealing with a fool. You live way down the hall. And that woman heard it. Went down there. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and talk to him. Put a stop to it. Huh. Is that right? What they said. Well, she might have walked down there but got carried out. Because he must have grabbed that Glock. And next thing, she got shot. Why would you do that? I'm going to go down there and st- handle it. Oh, okay. That's the problem with the BC. Everything's put on the woman, so this is part of your role. We just seem to kind of adapt to it. I don't think so. Same thing here. I thought about it. Why did, why did this go down like this? Typical BC training. This is what's expected of black women. Why not, again, just uh, close? Again, the manager did fail. They should have just locked the door and called 911. But let me guess. We don't want the black men in jail. Uh, I'm like, this, sir, that's where you belong if you put yourself there. So that is why I say this problem with black women. We're so used to being out front, got grown ass men wearing silver and size 13, 16 shoes, or hiding behind up under your skirt, but while holler, he's a man. But so you they put you out front. You used to going out there, just tackle the world on your own. No protection in the outside of the community, no protection within the community, no protection in your home or in the job. So you used to going out there, just you know, you 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 handle it. That's the problem. What are we teaching our daughters? 
because he looks like you don't mean a darn thing. He may, he or she can have the same hue. Doesn't mean anything. Self-preservation. You see him acting a fool. You should know what to do. Call nine one one. It'll be one and done. What is that? I never forget that post. Xander, dial us three faithful numbers. Nine one one. Uh huh. Oh, they get some act right then when the Pope post show up. That's why I said that's a problem with black women. We all we we're so used to having to handle things ourselves. Uh, we we just take it with us. Got that cape on wherever we go. Don't want to get the police involved. If they decide to call the police, they don't keep an acting the fool outside and lock the door. This little darling would not be suffering from a fractured skull and other injuries. She wouldn't have gotten dragged by or braised by a savage in human form. And she wouldn't need to go find me because she, she wouldn't be in the hospital. That's the black woman's problem. We're so used to being the fix it. We just jump into action automatically sometimes, not really thinking things through. What are we teaching our daughters? We need to understand. We need to inculcate the message that sometimes, a lot of times, the enemy looks just like you. And I'm out.